What's up guys, I the Vice Help here, and in today's video, I want to give you guys an update on the status for the jailbreak of iOS 10. Now in this video, I'm going to be talking about some of the evidence that we have that iOS 10 has been jailbroken, in which developers are working on a jailbreak, and even when we can expect a jailbreak based on history for iOS 10. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Alright, so first let's talk about 32-bit devices. I know a lot of you guys who own 32-bit devices may be interested on this news. And if you didn't know, iOS 10 was jailbroken on a 32-bit devices by I Hate Snow. Now this is an iBoot exploit that he's had for a long time, but we do know that iOS 10 can be jailbroken on a 32-bit device. Will a 32-bit device jailbreak come along? We don't know that as of yet, but as always, stay on the oldest firmware possible if you're running iOS 10 and you have a 32-bit device. Now the next jailbreak that I want to talk about that was demoed. It was demoed at the Mobile Security Conference back in July and it was by the Pangu Jailbreak team. Now these guys are the ones that will most likely release a jailbreak if a jailbreak is to be released. They demoed their jailbreak running on a 64-bit device. So we know that iOS 10, even though this was beta 1, is a jailbreakable. So that's good news for jailbreaking on 64-bit devices. So we know that as of right now. And the third piece of information I want to share with you guys comes from Luca Tedesco, a security researcher who does not release jailbreaks but did a demo a jailbreak on an iPhone 7 running iOS 10.01 now, an iPhone 7 has a brand new Apple 10 chip, so we know that a jailbreak is possible on an iPhone 7 as well. Now, a lot of you guys may think this is easily faked, but he is a reliable source. He has been credited in the past by teams like the Pangu team in contributing information to jailbreaking iOS devices. So that's good news for those of you who own a brand new iPhone 7 or 7 Plus. Which brings me to my last subject, iOS 10.1. Now iOS 10.1 Beta 1 was released yesterday by Apple to developers, which means the official release of iOS 10.1 could most likely be before the end of October. We may see three to four betas, so that puts an official release to the public within a month from now again, which would be October, the end of October, beginning of November. Now if history does it justice, we know that when a jailbreak team is targeting a major update to a new firmware, they want to target that latest firmware to jailbreak. So if the Pangu team jailbreak that was demoed back in July is compatible with the latest iOS 10.1. Of course, we will be seeing a jailbreak once iOS 10.1 is released to the public. But as we already know as history has told us, jailbreaks usually come a week or two after the major release of iOS. Now with that being said, if you're running iOS 10.0 or 10.0.1 on any device, stay on the oldest firmware possible. Do not update to 10.1 until we have confirmed information that a jailbreak is going to be released for the latest version. History has told us in the past that the oldest the iOS version, the easier it is to jailbreak and the better the possibilities of jailbreaking. So that's why I say 32-bit devices or 64-bit devices, if you're running iOS 10.0.1, stay there. Do not update to 10.1. Once it is officially released to the public, you'll have a better chance to jailbreak. So a quick recap of what we know, iOS 10.0 was jailbroken on its first beta stages on a 32-bit device by I Hate Snow. We also know that the Pangu team has jailbroken iOS 10 beta 1 also on a 64-bit device, so that makes 32 and 64-bit devices jailbreakable in iOS 10. And last but not least, Luca Tedesco has jailbroken an iPhone 7 with Apple's brand new A10 chip on iOS 10.0.1. Now, will a jailbreak be released for the 32 and 64-bit devices, including the latest iPhone 7s and 7 Plus? That information is not confirmed by any jailbreak team as of right now, but we do know that iOS 10 is jailbreakable, so that is the good news. So with that being said, stay on the oldest firmware possible. We know that a jailbreak is possible on iOS 10, and all we have to do now is wait for the official release of iOS 10.1, and we could be seeing a jailbreak sooner rather than later. And that's everything I got, guys. Let me know in the comments section down below. Are you expecting a jailbreak? Do you even want to jailbreak your device anymore? Leave your comments down below. It's been iDevice Help. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will catch you guys really soon. Peace.